along Cassidy. Oh, well, Mr. Cassidy, if you say so, it's different. Now, if you'll step over to the Pioneer Bar, I'll be glad to buy. Too busy. <laughs> I still think it's a mistake to entrust all Wells Fargo business to Jeff Chapman. He might be honest, but his equipment is outdated. And besides, he uses the most ordinary low-down rain stock. Low-down rain stock, huh? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Gunther. Without the help of the Mustang, this country would still be a wilderness. The ranch had never had a chance to raise and protect his stock. And when it comes to trouble and danger, the Mustang will face the problem with just as much courage and probably more brains than his master. Now that the Mustang has opened this country for men like you, you'll probably kill him off for dog meat. You'll go the way of the buffalo. And another thing, ounce for ounce, under the tough conditions we have to face here, I'll back the bar 20 stock against any horses in the entire West. And that is a lot of horses. Why don't you tell that to Neil Holt? There's a man that knows horse flesh well enough to back up his opinions with money. Haven't I heard that you're something of a sport, Cassidy? Or have I? What you smirking at? I just got an idea out of old loud mouth. Hey, who's that? That's Neil Holt's stable foreman. He looked like he'd been on a pretty tough ride. Yeah, he did. What did I tell you about riding my coach, Doc? Listen, boss. I've got something to tell you. Nothing as important as these horses. It's about Miss Chapman. What about her? I seen her with a fellow. It was Lucky Jenkins, that warrior that rides for bar 20. Say, have they got a mash on each other? Shirley means nothing to me. If she likes someone else, that's her business. And I don't want to hear her name coming out of your filthy mouth again, understand? Get to work on that horse. You don't think that Holt could have engineered that holder? If I thought so, I'd have to prove it. I don't like Holt, but at the same time, I'd bet my last peso on his honesty. Uh, maybe so. Quince, will you give this new contract to the outfit that proves they can give you the best service? Sure. That's all I want to know.
the trouble with you old timers. You never know when you're late. Takes more than what happened today to lay me low. Much as Neil Holt would like to see me dead and buried. You know he's out to get that Wells Fargo contract, don't you? I'll be... You gotta help me. I just can't fight Neil Holt and this crowd all alone. I know. But if you want me to help, you're gonna have to go to bed and stay there. I'll promise anything all if you... All right, all <laughs> right. Yeah, let me help. Please, Mark. I'll do it. Won't you keep on being nice? Well, if you give me the money for them horses, I'll get it into the bank. All right. That's all ready for you. I think you'll find the right amount there. All right, Jeff. between you and Holt. Oh, he aimed to grab everything that I'd taken years to build up just by marrying Shirley. I don't aim to end up an old man working for a tin horn son-in-law. I told Shirley if I ever caught him around here again, I'd buckshot him. And I will. Jeff, uh, the leader of those road agents, did he ride a black horse? Oh, everything happened so quick, I didn't see a thing. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just one. How do you feel, Dan? Oh, so-so. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without this girl. You needn't worry. I'll always be here. Well, take care of yourself, Jeff. Thanks, Hop. Shirley. That young fella, Lucky, he's pretty good at hand at tooling six up. I wouldn't mind having him for a son-in-law. Yes. He'd be like me. He wouldn't cost you anything. You're always thinking of Neil Holt. You stop me from marrying Neil Holt, but you can't stop me from thinking about him. I didn't hear you. <laughs> did you get a kick out of driving this today? I uh, sure did. You know, it's, a, it's so exciting sitting up there, holding those reins right in your two hands. Well, you can almost feel your thoughts travel right down the lines to your leaders. Yeah, I know. It's great doing the things you like to do. But liking the things you have to do is more important. Horses and men. That's the backbone of this frontier. Working together. No sort of Pulling in the same traces. That's right. Transportation. Just moving things. Making this big country even bigger. You know what, Hoppy? What? Jeff Chapman said I had the hands for two on the Concord stage. Well, Jeff ought to know. But are you sure it's just the bigness of this whole thing that's got you so excited? Well, what would be something besides a cowpoke, don't it? Oh, sure. He wouldn't amount to much if he didn't have some ambition. It sort of struck me that this isn't a bad business to be in. Oh, it's a great business. But what else you got on your mind? Or don't you want to tell me? It's Shirley. I've never met anyone quite like her. But she's worried or something. And I want to help her. I want to help her more than anything else in the world. That's the way all men should feel when they're in love, Lucky. But did it ever occur to you that she might be in love with somebody else? Well, that doesn't worry me any. She's not married yet. I still got a chance. You know, like you always told me, not to give up too soon. Yeah, I'd... so I did. So there it is. I laid all my cards on the table. You understand, don't you, Hobby? Oh, sure, I understand. And if Shirley is the right girl, I'll do everything I can to help you. 
I always look kind of silly in this shirt. Yeah, you do. I think mine's dry by now. I'd better change. Seems like you're biting off a sizable chunk there, Hoppy. Can a man have a private conversation without you snooping? When your sentiments are up, you're as soft as a cream puff. Why didn't you put your foot down hard? <laughs> Speedy, when the love bug bites him, talking don't do any good. So I'm gonna help him. If she's the right girl. Well, kids is kids. And everything has to fall in love and get a bump or two. At his age, I was like that, too. <laughs> you can't remember that far back. You know, you make me so mad sometimes. I put in there forgot what I wanted to show you. Unusual kind of shoe, ain't it? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Picked it up on the sawtooth. Might have been thrown by the horse or one of them road agents. And it wouldn't surprise me if it was a black horse. Black? Now, I ain't saying you ain't smart, Hoppy. But you ain't smart enough to tell the color of a horse just but shoe. Maybe not. But I'm just curious enough to want to find out. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Neil. How's your father tonight? He'll be laid up for quite a while. I'm sorry he was hurt. If he'd uh, let me buy in on his business, things would have been different. But he wouldn't listen. He'll never listen, as long as you're interested in me. He'd rather you'd marry someone he can shove around. I suppose so. You know I never will. Your father's bullheadedness has certainly made a mess out of our lives. Please, Neil, don't. Well, it's true. Why do you always have to say something that spoils everything? But, sure. Shotgun rider, a decent film. What's the matter with my money? Isn't it any good? Well, I didn't know how you felt, Neil. Thanks. That's fine. All right, boy. Everybody's inside. Good. Thank you. 